I come around and do these speeches and these talks, uh, my hope is that the message then goes and they pass it on to three other people and then that hopefully will then spread the message further and get the, the whole idea of how life can be better for everyone, society can be better for everyone by just doing small things and sometimes just taking that extra bit of time, like I said, and just really listening to people rather than assuming things as well. That's also what I hope. What I want to try and do is for them to understand that everyone has a story, that story then implements and it affects that person, how they live their everyday life, the choices that they make, and sometimes by asking extra questions or taking that extra bit of time with someone, to really make a big impact in someone's life. Well, it's a fantastic turnout at the conference and a, and a great opportunity to talk about how we can use prevention tools. That's what I'll be talking about. Dotcom is a prevention tool. It's also a tool that children can use to report if they feel unsafe. And what I hope to get out of the conference is help. We have a program that has been created by children, for children, with Essex Police. And what we really want to ask people is to help us to get this into schools because it's, it's risk-free, there's no cost, but it's really important to me that we get as many children across the county using this programme. Today we've held our Violence and Vulnerability Conference and what we wanted to do was bring together our partners from across the county to look at what we're actually doing in this space and what we can do in the future and to do that we had some really really inspirational speakers come and join us from outside the county because it's really important we learn from what they're doing so that it complements what we're doing in terms of our own innovation and we're doing a great job but there's more to do. Well we've seen some really emotional content haven't we, we've seen some really uh, impactive speakers that's what we want to get out, we want to get the energy out there, we want to get everybody uh, you know, concentrating on this, uh, the effort in relation to violence and vulnerability but you know the passion and the power it's, it's evident isn't it to be seen today. So what's really important it has been a really impactive emotional day today but there still remain challenges around this violence and vulnerability. What we need to do is work with those colleagues much closer and that I think is one of the key challenges that the gangs work in across the whole of the country and we're not at that same level yet and those are the challenges that we still need to face. This is not just the professional's responsibility working in the Violence and Vulnerability Unit, it's all our responsibilities and I feel there is a, 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 a commitment from everybody here that they're going to work alongside us across the county to tackle this issue.